In this video we'll look at how to update a, a data object via the API. So in a previous video we created this data object with that title and opportunity stage excuse me, in via the API and in our example we're using Zapier to send that information across. So now we want to look at how we can update that um, same item of data. So I would here go and say I want to send another hook. I'm going to post it. So now we'll say our URL. And again, you need to replace staging with your app name. But then it's dot mccanter crm.com forward slash rest forward slash v1 forward slash edit in this case. We're going to send this as JSON again and we need some fields. Okay, so we need to have a contact ID, we need to have a connected group which is your data object type, we need to have the relationship we need to have an API key. We also need a thing called a CD underscore GUID, which is the item ID for the data object you want to update. And then I want to update the field um, opportunity stage, and I want to set that to open. So now we come and fill these in. Now we know from previously that we have a contact ID here. If you're doing this in a different manner, you obviously have to query first and get the contact ID. Um, we know that our connected group is opportunities. Our relationship is still homeowner for this contact. Our API key, you go to admin, security, copy your API key there, paste that in. Then the CDGUID, you would either query Macanta to see what that is for that contact, what data objects they have connected, but because I'm doing this via Zapier, I can use it from when this one was created, it comes back telling me um, what the ID is, so I can use that there. And then I know opportunity stage I want to at the moment, that field is set to new and I want to change that to open. So I've just typed in open there. I know it's an option in the dropdown. I can continue here and then we can send a test. Comes back green, always good. Let's refresh. Go to our opportunities and overview. Opportunity stage is changed to open. Okay, so that's how you would edit and update a data object via the API.